Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see how to create a measure to calculate the quarterly average sales by category using window, order by, and partition by DAX functions. In order to calculate the quarterly average, we shall use the average x DAX function, which calculates the average or arithmetic mean of a set of expressions evaluated over a table. The average x function requires two arguments, which are the table and expression. The term table means the name of a table, which could be a physical table or an expression that creates a virtual table that specifies the table over which the aggregation, that is average, could be performed. Expression means an expression with a scalar result, which will be evaluated for each row of the table in the first argument. In our example, we shall be creating a table using the window, order by, and partition by DAX functions, and the expression would be a measure, the sum of sales. The window DAX function returns multiple rows which are positioned within the given interval. We have the syntax here, window, from, which is a mandatory argument, from type, which is optional, to is another mandatory argument, to type is optional, then relation, order by, blanks, and partition by, these are optional. From indicates from where the window starts. It can be a DAX expression that returns a scalar value. A from type modifies the behavior of the from parameter and it can have two values, absolute and relative, and the default is relative. Two indicates the end of the window and the last row is included in the window. Two type again modifies the behavior of two. Relation is a table expression from which the output row is returned. If specified, all columns in order by and partition by should come from it. Order by, an order by clause containing the columns, defines how each partition is sorted. If omitted, relation must be explicitly specified. Blanks, in case there are blanks in any of the rows, how they should be dealt with should be mentioned. Currently, the only supported value is keep, which is the default value. And partition by, in case we want the quarterly average sales by category or region or any other categorical column, we can use partition by. Here's the DAX expression that we are going to use to create the measure quarterly average sales. This is the name of the measure is equal to. We shall be using the average X function, which requires two arguments, table and expression. The table argument would be provided by the DAX expression, which is highlighted in yellow. We start with the window function. One indicates the from position. Absolute indicates the from type. Three indicates the two position and relative indicates the two type. In our example, we want to calculate the quarterly average sales by calendar quarter. So the month of January would be the starting point, one. Then we have to go up to the third row and calculate average for all the three rows. So when we move down to the second row, the from should not change and therefore we use absolute. And we go to the third row, calculate the average. From there, we have to move again to the fourth row. Therefore, this would be relative. Once we move to the fourth row, the number one or the from position would be the fourth row. Then we go up to the sixth row, calculate the average, then move on. So Jan, Feb, March will be the first three rows. April, May, June would be the next three rows and so on. This would indicate the rows that are to be selected. Now, we are going to create a virtual table for the columns that are to be selected. So we use the summarize DAX function and all selected DAX function, which removes context filters from columns and rows in the current query while retaining all other context filters or explicit filters, requires a table name. In this case, the table name would be orders. In this case, I'm not using a separate date table. I'm using the built-in date table created by Power BI for the order date column. I'm selecting the year from the built-in date table, then month and month number also from the built-in date table. I'm selecting the month number because we are ultimately going to order by the month number. I'm using orders category here as a column because we want the quarterly average sales by category. So if we have to partition by category, we have to include it 
within the summarize DAX function. This represents the relation argument of the window DAX function. Now we have to specify the order by, that is how the rows would be sorted. The rows would be sorted in the ascending order of the year and the month number. Keep indicates how the blanks would be dealt with. At the moment, the only option available to deal with blanks is keep, which is the default option. So we leave it as it is. Then partition by. Partition by helps us to split the result according to the column that we mentioned. We shall be calculating the quarterly average sales for the category column. Here ends the window DAX function. This is the second argument, which is the expression argument required by the average x tax function. Total sales is nothing but sum of sales. Now let's do a demo on Power BI desktop. On your screens, you can see the orders table with many columns. And in the canvas, you can see two matrix visuals. In the first matrix visual, we have the order date. Power BI has automatically created a date hierarchy for the order date column. If we expand this, we can see year, quarter, month, and day. We shall be using the year and quarter in this matrix visual. So under the rows, we have year and quarter from the order date hierarchy and category. In this matrix visual, we again use year, quarter, and month from the built-in date hierarchy for the order date column. And in addition to that, Along the columns, we use category, and in the values, we use sales. What you see here is year-wise, quarter-wise, month-wise sales value for these categories. To the first matrix visual, we will be adding the quarterly average sales measure that we are going to create, and we shall check whether the calculation is correct using this matrix visual. In this matrix visual, we can see the month-wise sales. So if we want to calculate the average for the first quarter, we add sales for January, February, March, and divide that by three. We already have the quarter one subtotal here. If we divide that by three, we shall get the quarterly average. The first measure that we are going to create is the total sales measure, which will be used in the quarterly average sales measure. For creating the total sales measure, let's click on the orders table, new measure, name the measure as total sales equals, we use the sum DAX function on the sales column. So let's select sales, close and press enter. So we have the measure total sales here. Now let's create the quarterly average sales measure. Click on orders table again. Click on new measure. Let's expand this formula window. Name the measure as quarterly average sales equals. Start with the average x function. For the table argument, we shall use the window dax function. Start parenthesis. From would be one. Type a comma. As we've seen earlier, the from type would be absolute. Type a comma. The two position is three because we want three rows type a comma. We type a relative here. Type a comma. Let's press Alt Enter to go to the next line. Now to create a relation, we are going to use the summarize DAX function. It requires table as mandatory and the remaining arguments are optional. For creating the table, I'm going to use Alt Selected, table name or column name. I'm going to use the table name orders, close parenthesis, group by column name one. The first column that we are going to group by is the year column, select order date. These are the various values available in the built-in date calendar under the order date. From this, we select dot year. If we have a separate date table, we shall be using the year column from that date table. Let's type a comma. Then we shall select order date again, and this time select month, type a comma. We shall select the month number as well from the built-in date table. Click on order date again, select month number. Now type a comma. Now we have to select the category column, close parenthesis, and this completes the relation argument. Let's type a comma, Alt Enter to go to the next line. The next argument is order by. Again, we shall select the order date column, select the year, type a comma. It should be ordered in the ascending order, comma. Again, select order date and select month number, type a comma, select ascending order. This completes order by, type a comma. 
The next option is how to deal with blanks. The only option that is available for use is keep. So click on keep, type a comma. Let's go to the next line, alt enter, partition by. We are going to partition the result by category. Close parenthesis for partition by. That ends all the arguments required by the Windows DAX function. So let's close Windows DAX function. We are left with the expression argument for the average x DAX function. So let's type a comma. The expression in this case will be the total sales measure that we've created earlier. Square brackets, select total sales. Now we can close the average x. Let's press enter. Quarterly average sales tax function has been created. Let's close this formula bar. Now let's select this matrix visual and add the quarterly average sales measure that we created just now to the values well of this visual. Let's drag and drop it here. We can see the quarterly average sales for each quarter by the product category. Now let's check whether this is correct. The total sales for the furniture category for the first quarter of 2018 is the total of these three values, which is 22,656.14. Let's divide that by three and check whether this value is correct. So 22,656.14 divided by three equals 7,552.05, which is correct. Now let's check for office supplies in quarter two. So let's expand quarter two, office supplies, 31243.73 divided by three. 10414.58 is correct. So we've successfully created the quarterly average sales very easily using the average X, window, order by, and partition by tax functions. And we've seen how to create virtual tables using the summarize tax function, including columns from multiple tables. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall get notified immediately as soon as we upload new videos in our channel. We thank you very much for your continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.